Hi everyone, I'm now going to demonstrate the import button. Um, we are very used to the idea of adding templates into, into our models. In this case we have a roof with the various nested templates, all the materials and people and equipment attributed to all these different elements of this uh, roof template. What we can do uh, alternatively is use this import button. And it's very useful when you have something like uh, these kind of documents where you have a lot of uh, material information that you've downloaded from a BIM model, uh, Revit, maybe even a cost plan. And uh, yeah, very useful information there that you can sling into your LCA fairly quickly using the, the import button. Uh, first, you need to just summarize the, the key elements. Uh, in this case, yeah, structural steel in the beams, uh, summed up there, uh, the columns and linear meters and the raised access floor, just do a few as an example. And copy that into a uh, CSV file here. Uh, make sure when you copy it that uh, it's whole numbers. It doesn't seem to manage uh, decimals too well, but we're working on that. And uh, yeah, save that as a, as a CSV file here. And uh, when we click on the import button here, I can take small sample and I can click on structural steel now to tell it which ones to match up I can click on uh, the column let's run with that one looks fairly standard and raised access floor. Now what I'm going to do is say import and remember and the software will remember those selections uh, for the next time uh, which, is, which is pretty useful. So we'll see now they've been added and we've got uh, those templates all included within the model. Uh, now because it's remembered it I could come up again in the in the next model and maybe I've got something like curtain walling and uh, yeah whatever that was just the sum can't remember but we're just some something like five thousand meters squared I can import this one again or oh, just make sure it's saved And you see there, this time it's remembered these, uh, these templates are there uploaded automatically and it will do that for all my, my future models and I just need to select which one to match this one up with and I can import and again remember those ones. So uh, yeah, quite a efficient way to, to build a model, particularly when you uh, have this kind of information available to you. Uh, Templates are still the best way forward, so always, uh, whatever stage you're at, but when you get to these kind of detailed stages where you've got exact quantities, then we can upload them uh, on a bulk process. Uh, first step, you might say, to, to full BIM integration, which, uh, which we're planning very soon, so watch this space. Thanks, everyone. Uh, bye.